Good morning. Happy uh, Sunday. So yesterday, around the globe, pretty interesting and amazing day. Um, if you were involved or you weren't, I mean, just witnessing <clears throat> people. If this is bottom, if we are culturally in the United States and politically, morally at a bottom, um, the the boiling of tension peacefully is rising, has risen, or beginning to rise. Um, because there was hundreds of thousands of people in downtown Los Angeles, and to my knowledge, there was there were no arrests, which is awesome. You know, there were so many people you couldn't move. It was like sardines. And, um, you know, it was just, it was fun. And I, <laughs> you couldn't even march. <laughs> it was a march that you couldn't, you couldn't march. It was a stand, basically. And then people had to go around. It was, it was insane. Um, it was, I'm grateful to have been involved. So, what now, you know? What do you do the day after, the week after? I mean, that's for me, I gotta ask myself those questions and because it's easy for me to fall back into my selfish little life and uh, forget that, you know, just to watch the news and be, you know, outraged and mad. And so continuing to bring the peace and compassion and empathy to all areas of, of my life with action, right? To, to bring peaceful action, prayer, peaceful action every day. And it's not going to be convenient if you don't particular whatever like it. Ugh, the idea of like not going to certain gas stations because I drive a car <laughs> it just seems out of my. You know, it's once you wake up to certain to a lot of levels of, of consciousness, it's not convenient. There's ignorance is bliss because you're just not. <laughs> I, I when I was an ignorant idiot it was probably easier to live and I mean now I'm more awake and, and uh, well debatable but more grateful and and that's when I was ignorant I was also just very angry and, and I don't know the lower idea like there's that whole idea of like lower vibration yeah being a higher vibration and being in love and in gratitude and, and, and empathy I'm more awake I'm able to, I feel more, um, and it can hurt, but not, you know, bringing compassion and empathy and, and love to, to everybody. If love trumps hate, then you got to bring it to everybody. It's not just the people that you agree with. That's important for me to think about because to demean and and tear down all those that don't understand or that are not awake for a better term, for, la for, for lack of a better term, like to maybe the unselfishness of, of, the, of my perception of life, climate change and, and <laughs> equality. That seems pretty obvious to me, but for those that don't understand that or can't understand or don't wish to see it, Instead of throwing stones, shouting words and fists, bring love, empathy, education. Arguably a small, a shorter or a, a longer process, but a more permanent one, right? Education is a more permanent change than, you know, forceful uh, force and, and, and uh, totalitarianism. Action. Peaceful love and action, compassion, empathy. These are like crazy words. If you've, <laughs> I, I could not necessarily attach or identify with them many years ago. I didn't, it was like, oh, the same thing, you know. No, it's not. Um, love and action. Love is an action. Gratitude's an action. So, if this is, this is the, you know, this is the, the present. This is what's happening. How can we each make a difference? Through action. Peace. Love.